Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome to an early morning video. I never film in the morning, but I was up very early. I did my yoga, I got ready and I have some time before I have to be to work. So today we're filming early in the morning. The light is what it is because winter has come again. <laughs> So I was telling you on Instagram that I was a bit on a rut with films to, vid uh, films to video, videos to film and uh, yeah lately I've only had two videos in the week up and they weren't like very close to each other and not extremely planned but I'm hoping to get back into things in March uh, and for now what is due is a February monthly roundup. In this video I show you my favorites, if there's any fails, um, update you a little bit on my makeup month, my beauty month um, and show you my empties for the month. To remind you a little bit and to remind myself, I am doing a uh, low buy, but especially what I'm doing is I am uh, counting on my uh, Excel sheet, everything that I buy and the expense, the amount that that is, and then the value of everything that I finish. And the goal is there to, um, I mean, keep them equal-ish, but also in general, just to monitor and it's fun to see and uh, see my collection shrink by not only means of the clutters, which are, is not like the right way to do it, let's say, but by means of uh, using up things. So let's get into the favorites of the month of February. First things first, one of the items that uh, my very good friend Julia sent me from Italy uh, and that she had told me to buy a long time ago is the uh, Nabla Skin Glazing in Truth. It is what I am wearing right now. Um, I have a bit of highlighter, but if you see this sheen that is on the cheek uh, away from the highlight, that is all this blush. This is a beautiful peachy, yeah, a peachy shimmery blush, but it is part of the skin glazing line. So instead of showing up shimmer, you actually see more of a sheeny glass skin type of effect. And I didn't buy it initially because I thought it was too light for me. And I thought it would show up uh, more like a dark highlight or like uh, Milani Luminoso that for me did absolutely nothing. This is in the same idea as Milani Luminoso, but I think the formula is a thousand times better. This is not powdery, this doesn't sit on top of your skin and um, look a bit, I don't know, Milani Luminoso wasn't doing great things for me, as I have said. So this one here, I can't stop using. It's so beautiful for every day, just a flush of color and of sheeny healthiness. I love this, like it's up there with the best blushes ever. Such a good discovery. Thank you so much, Julia, for sending this over. So, so good. And rediscovery this month, and I actually say thanks to my declutter and reorganization, um, are the Lime Crime Velveteen lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks. I haven't used these at least in a good year and I was using only like the special colors or uh, just for uh, Instagram makeup but recently I was like oh I want to style sort of an like darker nude and I pulled out from my collection the shade Riot and oh my god it's beautiful it's as good as I remember it to be but what I was even more impressed with is that the formula is not as dry as I reminded I remember it to be so actually I really really enjoyed using them um, the ones that I love the most this month were Riot and I used a few that one a few times Saddle it's a beautiful I don't know medium brownie terracotta I don't, I don't know if you can see the color um, very well. I don't want to swatch because after this I need to go to work and then I'm gonna go walk around with swatches on my hand because I forgot to wash them off. And the other one, which is a classic, is pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin. And um, this one is here is more like an orangey shade. This one I use less because I find that it is very similar to um, Gingerbread Man by Too Faced. And that one I also really, really love the formula of, maybe a little bit more than the Lime Crime. But these are so good. I forgot I had them. I forgot how good they were or I knew I had them. I forgot how good they were and I'm really, really happy to have pulled them back out. I have quite a few uh, from my declutter. I have saved six, but I'm kind of feeling like I should save them back all because they are so good. 
difficult to choose, but a rediscovery for this month. Then, um, We've started work in the garden and I've had a bit of a tough time with my nails. Um, they were breaking, they were peeling, they were just overall not happy. So I, um, with the, so with the excuse of buying a nail polish thinner, I also bought uh, Sesh Rebuild. This is one of these treatment polishes. You're supposed to put one coat on every day for four days on top of each other, then remove it all and start over. And I, um, every time you see me with naked nails, that's what I have. And I find that my nails are so much healthier and uh, you know how you use nail hardeners and actually they just make your nails harder but also brittle so they will uh, break more easily. I find that this one doesn't harden my nails as much as they strengthen them. So I've been having some times where, I don't know, I was picking up stones in the garden and my nails lifted um, or bent backwards and none of them broke. Um, I've been like, really, really happy with this. I like it more than any of the nail treatments that, uh, treatments that I've had in the past. Plus, uh, um, after you apply it a while and a few times, you get a bit of a milky look on the, on the nails, which make them look very elegant and like put together so yeah I really like this and the other thing that I made with that order that was from Amazon is Sesh Restore this was my friend Mike's recommendation I think to remember and I was whining how my Sesh Vit and my other top coat were very uh, goopy and thick and she said why don't you buy these um, thinner and uh, it actually works very well and I, I have added so far only to um, Sesh Vit because it's the same brand they're kind of made to be together and this is a liquid that is the same as the thinning as the more liquid part of a uh, of the top coat so what happens is once you have a, uh, a nail polish for a long time um, the thinner part evaporates out of it and it leaves a very goopy product and you with this you are pretty much restoring uh, with your pipette the uh, yeah the thinning part of the formula and then you have your nail polish in you now i don't know how this performs in uh, conjunction with something that is a different brand and a different formula but once i finish this read i will um, use it on my other opi top coat and then we'll see how that goes Finally, for favorites this month uh, is castor oil. I was talking about it in a recent, uh, in my February makeup routine in which I was showing you what I usually do and I was talking about my lashes last month. I showed you a fail of a lash serum which I think was actually making my lashes fall off sooner or they were much shorter and I was really panicking. My lashes are back to their normal size and their normal length and I'm very happy about it and I am actually giving up on all the serums and just using castor oil and I put it in it's a bit disgusting but <laughs> I put it in these little mascara tubes that I purchased from Aliexpress and uh, yeah I just refill it when I need it and you can just there's a little stopper that you can remove to put the product in and I brush it like this in my brows and I brush it only on the tip of my lashes, not on the root because otherwise it will just seep into my eyes and in the morning I will wake up with really sw like poofy eyes and um, I'll f I feel it if I have castor oil that reached my eyes. It's just not a good feeling in the morning. So I am careful just to apply it on the tips of my lashes because anyways it migrates down or like it diffuses down anyways. So it will reach the... The, uh, the roots of the lashes during the night but just not flood my eyes with and uh, doing it and I'm using it in my brows to help my brows grow thick and happy because after going to ha get them done by that lady I freaked out and I want them big and fluffy again slowly we're gonna get there um, I am I am accepting my thin brows right now I also think they kind of look good but I'm missing like I don't know the the fluffiness I'm missing the fluffiness and I don't think it will come back so soon it's okay uh, it's just hair it grows and uh, those were the favorites for this month then one big update is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette I um, bought this one from Italy as well um, it arrived at the end of January 
and I've been using it and testing it extensively. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's what I wore for pretty much the whole of the month, uh, except a few uh, exceptions. <laughs> and um, I'm not ready to talk about this here. I think I need an in, like a whole video for it because I have a lot to say. Follow me on Instagram, check my highlighted stories on this palette to find out a little bit more about my issues, but I'm not gonna get into it here. Point being, it creases on me. But, um, and I'm gonna talk about the rest of the palettes in my Shop My Stash when we switch for the month, which will probably be some of one of the next videos that you'll see on my channel. Then let's move on to the empties. I always keep them in this Sephora bag in the back there. Um, I finished, finally, I think this is infinite years old, my Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Shower Gel. This is the uh, XXL uh, um, bottle. This is, what is it, one liter? I can't, 750 mils actually. And I love this. If my life could smell like pink grapefruit by Body Shop, it would. I have also back there a, a body spray and the Eau de Toilette, but they don't really last very long, unfortunately. Uh, otherwise I would just like, I don't know, I would live in this scent. Um, I love it. And uh, for now I'm gonna work to run through all of my other shower gels that I have, but then I'm definitely gonna repurchase. I wish I could refill this, to be honest. I wish I could just go to the body shop and refill this big tub and be done with packaging. I like that I have a big one that lasts me the whole year and then that's it. I finished a nail polish remover. This is my local drugstore brand. Nothing to say there, except that I like the one with acetone because I have absolutely no patience for the one without it. It takes so long to remove nail polish. I also finished a blah, 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 blah. I also finished a brush cleanser. This is from Hema. Um, I think this uh, brand is now coming more and more in Europe. I think it's also in Belgium and maybe in Italy. I think I've seen it in Italy and France, something like that. Um, I like this brush cleanser. This is for uh, spot cleaning and um, yeah, I like that this bottle has quite a big mouth. So I can dip my eye brushes directly in it and then I decant half of this in a spray bottle to use to spray on my bigger face brushes. And um, yeah, it cleanses well. Um, it's inexpensive. I wouldn't like, uh, this is the only one. This is the one that I find close to me for inexpensive. Of course, there's probably better ones out there, but I don't mind uh, this one. It what does the job for me. I colored my hair this month. I don't think you guys care that much, but I did. And uh, I already have a centimeter of regrowth, which is fantastic. Such high maintenance. I called quits on the Bombay Black uh, pencil by Nabla because of this. Um, it's very dry. It detached from the um, from the wood and it's just not transferring very well. So I'm calling this one quits. Uh, I also finished the Laura Mercier oil-free tinted moisturizer sample that I had and I am actually very close to repurchasing this one or the regular tinted moisturizer um, because I want a tinted moisturizer for the good weather. It's good that winter is back and we are we had snow yesterday so <laughs> maybe I don't have to uh, worry about that too much. Also I finished my Clinique City Sheer City Block Sheer SPF 25. This was also kind of a tinted moisturizer. It also has a bit of a blurring effect and I was using it on no makeup days, on low makeup days. Um, and I like to have something like this. This was not my favorite. I would not recommend it uh, because for my oily skin it really didn't do much and if you put too much it pills because of this blurring effect is probably silicones and it pills. I didn't love it to be honest. Um, I got it in a box or of sorts and uh, I just finished it and I'm happy about it but I didn't really, really love it. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I know my friend who has a bit of a, um, a more dehydrated and drier skin, she likes it a lot, but yeah, for me, no. And this is a product that I'm actually throwing away. Um, I thought I could suck it up and finish it. So this is the L'Oreal Glam Beige Healthy Glow Foundation with SPF 20 in the shade Light. 
I thought this was yeah, perfect for the summer, like very, very lightweight. It's very liquidy and it gives you a bit of a bronzed uh, effect, a little bit of sheen uh, of a glow, but this sits in my pores so badly um, that it's horrible and it does nothing for my oils and just no, absolutely not. It looked really, really ugly as I applied it first thing in the morning. So. No, I will throw this away. Um, I don't think I should pass it on to anyone. It's also probably quite old and I'm just gonna throw this away. Uh, now, the last empty for this month is this Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. And I've had this uh, for a while. I think it was in a Sephora Play box. So from 2017 when I was in the US. And I slowly use it. Uh, I have uh, a lot of minis of masks. I don't buy full uh, size masks because I don't use them enough. I just use them once uh, a week, maybe if I remember. So um, yeah, I finished this one. It was one of these um, silver peel off masks. I didn't dislike it. it. I did feel like it had some actives. It was doing something, but I, about firming, we can discuss what is firming. I felt like it probably it refined a bit my, the grain of my skin. I felt it uh, quite soft and yeah, not something to spend whatever the full size costs. So I don't, uh, I don't know, not something to go out and buy, I would say. And that, you guys, was my February roundup. We're quite uh, quick and snappy, I hope. I always ramble too much and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your favorite product of uh, February was or what your favorite experience in February was. I am very excited for the month coming up. Um, I am supposed to travel to Milan. The coronavirus situation is making the travel a little bit doubtful. I also was supposed to go to a an industry event, uh, the Cosmoprof in Bologna that weekend, but they moved it to June and I'm not sure I'll be able to actually uh, go again in June because traveling two times to Italy um, in two months is a bit much. And um, yeah, we'll see if I go. I'll update you probably on Instagram or so, or at the end of next month if I've been at all. But I was, I'm really excited. I hope I get to go. I'm gonna see my uh, my friends, my beauty friends, and just spend a weekend with the girls. I, I just, I don't know. I'm so looking forward to it. And we're doing the garden. So actually my mom is supposed to come as well to help to do the garden. So lots of Italian exchanges, hopefully without a virus. <laughs> But uh, yeah, let me know how your February was and what you're looking forward for in March. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.